In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct frequency and relative frequency distributions. We are using this example of the Quick Change Oil Company it has a number of outlets in the metropolitan Seattle area. The daily number of oil changes at the Oak Street outlet in the past 20 years are, and then they are listed down here. Previously, we found that the number of classes is going to be five. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We have uh, 20 observations, so N stands for the number of observations, and the class interval is 10, so 50 up to 60, 60 up to 70. There's a class interval of 10. So now we need to figure out our frequency of each of these. Now 50 up to 60, that does not include 60. So we're going to go back, we're going to look for f any numbers that are between 50 up to 60. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4 here. 60 up to 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 70 up to 80, that, so we are including 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 80 up to 90. 1, 2, and 90 to 100. 1, 2, 3. Okay, before I do anything else, I want to add up all these numbers and make sure they equal the total number of, of observations. Yep, needs to equal 20, and it does. Next, we're going to find our, our relative frequency, which is also just the percent. This is quite easy to do. To find the percent, we take the frequency and we divide it by the total number of observations. So 4 divided by 20 is 0.2. Okay, and we do that for the rest. 5 divided by 20 is 0.25. Six divided by twenty point three. Two divided by twenty point one. Three divided by twenty point one five. There you have it. 